Uh, there we go. Good night. Yeah. Oh, beautiful blue. Brought that other whisker whip. Oh, there we go. Other whisker whip going. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, this is James Tucker with Operation Catfish and uh, Catfish 254 Fish Haulers Guide Service. Just going to give you all a quick rigging on how we're drifting today. First off, we're using 65 contest braided line. Uh, we're using this braided line because it has zero stretch. Uh, it's real good for if you get hung up, you don't turn your whole boat around trying to break it off. You, got, you can just pop it loose. All right, we got our braid. We're going to use 50 pound leader material. This leader. Uh, slightly uh, weaker than your braided main line so that if you do like i said if you do get hung up you can break that loose and you don't lose your weight setup we're going to be using two ounce drifting sinkers these are uh eight quarter ounce sinkers up on this uh set of like 15 pound line drifting weight gets hung up you can break it off we're going to be using six out hooks circle hooks uh, you're going to use circle hooks because it makes it easier to uh, hook up with your fish. Less moving parts, you know, you're just actually pulling the hook into the fish anyways. It'll work great. We use high quality swivels. Uh, these are size number three crane swivels. They are rated for way, way higher capacity than either of our lines. So that's that. We're also going to be using two inch comb all floats. These are really good because... Uh, they're not slotted, which is kind of a pain in the butt when you're trying to add floats to your line, but they don't bust off when you get when you get a little snag and you gotta pop your line. All right, first off, we're gonna take our leader. We're gonna get about a three foot section. For me, that's about that long. That's give or take three foot. You don't gotta get real precise with this. You could move, make your leader longer, shorter, depending on how you feel that day, really. All right. We're going to tie the, the simple snail. It works really good for this. Take it and tie your hook. Stick your line through the eyelet, pinch it on the back, wrap it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Take the other end of your leader and you stick it from the back to the front and your snail knot's tied. Then we're gonna tie a Palomar knot onto our crane swivel here. Oh. We're gonna take our float, put it on the line. And just let it sit there for now. Then we're gonna tie a Palomar knot onto our crane swivel. The swivel is probably the most overlooked part of your rigging. You know, most folks just buy whatever's cheapest there at Walmart or Academy or whatever sporting goods store you go to. But it's an essential part. It's a, where your main line's connected to your leader. You need to have a good swivel. And swivels are cheap. The cheapest, one of the cheaper parts of your rigs, but like I said, a lot of folks just use whatever's cheapest. I always go with something weight rated. All right. And then we're going to take our main line right here, this braid. We're going to run our sinkers onto there. And we're going to tie another Palomar knot. We're going to tie this around the entire rig, just like so. I like a Palomar knot with my braid. It's a good, solid knot, very easy to tie. Very, very easy to tie. We want to make sure we moisten up our line right there at the knot where we're cinching it up. Pull it tight, pull it tight, and trim off our tags. 
Now, why do you trim off the tag? It pretties it up. It keeps you from, if you do have any twist from your line catching on itself and making a knot and bypassing your swivel. For those that don't know what a tag is, what, what would what's a tag? The back side of your line, you know, not the part that's connected to your reel, but the part that's on the other side of your knot. Like this, this would be your leader. That would be the tag from your knot. Just like so. Now, is it essential that you get rid of the tag? Uh, really, it just kind of pretties it up, but it also can keep your line from uh, getting caught on itself, your two tags getting caught together, or your main line getting caught from your tag, and then causing twist in your line. I cut it off all the time because, you know, mainly have it, and it helps a little. All right, then we're gonna peg our float. You see, we got about six inches of gap between here, uh, our hook and our float, and that just gives us a little bit of buoyancy right there around our bait. We're drifting real slow today, um, so our, our float's gonna be very, very important on lifting up our bait. And then uh, we are set up, ready to put some bait on and go drifting. What rod is that that you're using? This is a uh, cheap sinker's rod. It's the Catfish Warrior rod. It's a very, very stout rod. It's eight foot long. Looks like it's going to be a good rod. We're going to try it out. All right. Thanks for watching and join our community at operationcatfish.com.